The sun rises yet another day over Charleston, South Carolina. And Charleston Water Systems Hanahan plant has been producing millions of gallons of safe, clean drinking water throughout the night. Roughly 400,000 people will get up in the morning and every single person will need water. Most of us will take a drink without even giving a thought to where it came from, how it was treated, and how it got to us. The majority of the water comes from the fresh water of the Bushy Park Reservoir, which is about 10 miles north of downtown Charleston. This reservoir provides 90% of Charleston's water year-round. The remaining water comes from a location amazingly 22 miles away in Gibbons Ferry State Park on the Edisto River. This intake dates back to the 1920s, when a man-made underground tunnel was hand-dug from this freshwater source all the way to Hanahan. Gravity carries the untreated water from both sources to the Charleston Water System Hanahan Water Treatment Plant. This water arrives with many impurities, sediments, and bacteria that must be removed to make it safe to drink. The first step in the treatment process is the rapid mix basin. Alum is added to the water and giant mixing paddles violently mix the solution. The purpose of the alum is to attract small suspended particles and cause them to clump together into larger, heavier particles that will eventually sink or be filtered out. After this process, the water flows into flocculation basins. Here, the motion of the water is reduced and sufficient time passes, allowing the particles to clump together. Next, the water flows into sedimentation basins, where flow is reduced even further, allowing these large particles to sink to the bottom for removal. In some basins, large angled plates provide ample surface for the particles to settle on, and as they accumulate on the plates, the material slides to the bottom and is removed by sweeps. By this point in the process, most impurities have been removed and clear water flows over the weirs in the plates. Filtration is the next step in the process. The filters are large basins that have a permeable floor consisting of sand, gravel, and anthracite. The water flows through by the pull of gravity, and the filter removes any remaining small particles and microorganisms. Periodically, the filters are backwashed to remove the impurities. The final step in the process before distribution to the public is disinfection. A small amount of chlorine and ammonia solution, just enough to kill any bacteria but not be harmful for human consumption, is added to the water. Lime is also added to balance the pH, the fluoride level is also adjusted to promote good dental health. Then the water remains in a holding area called a clear well for a period of time to allow the chlorine solution to completely disinfect the water. During this entire process, the quality of the water is monitored at every step, 24 hours a day, by technicians in the control room. Water samples are taken and tested to ensure consistency. In addition, computer systems monitor the entire process, giving real-time information to technicians. Adjustments to flow, pressure, and other parameters can be made right from this control room. In the Hanahan Laboratory, tests are performed daily to ensure the plant produces the highest quality water possible. Now that the treatment process is complete, the distribution of the water is carried out. The water leaves the plant under pressure generated by electrically powered pumps. A constant pressure of around 80 to 90 psi is maintained by these initial pumps and pump stations in various places throughout the system. There are more than 1,700 miles of distribution pipes in Charleston Water's system. Water is pumped through these pipes into holding tanks in various parts of the system to act as a buffer during times of high flow such as in the morning when people are preparing for work and school. Charleston Water distributes water for home use, restaurant and business use, and irrigation. Even the water in the fountains and parks comes from the Charleston Water System. 
We also rely on Charleston Water System for the supplying of water to more than 8,800 fire hydrants throughout the greater Charleston area. It is difficult to imagine everyday life without readily available water. But Charleston Water System's treatment facility, infrastructure, and staff working behind the scenes 24-7 is ensuring that every day you get up and throughout your day, each time you turn on a faucet, you will find a clean, reliable supply of water.